Hello everyone, this is Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today we'll be talking about how to use Crayola markers in your Cricut. Now, if you want more information on how to find single line fonts and single line designs, head over to my blog because I will show you exactly how to find them in Cricut Design Space and other sites where you can also find them. The link will be in the description of this video. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to compare both pen. So this is the pen from Cricut. It's a medium tip uh, 1.0 black. So it's the medium one. Uh, it looks like this. And this is the Crayola brand that I bought uh, our markers from uh, Fine Line Markers. So these are the ones I want to try. So I wrote a word that is Wonderlust. It's actually the name of the font that I'm using. It's a free font. It's a writing font from Cricut. And I wrote the word in two size. So the black one will be the Cricut pen and the silver one will be the uh, Crayola pen. So let's try this and we're gonna hit make it. And I'm using some printer paper. So I'm gonna select 8 by 11 letter size just to make sure everything fits inside. Continue. Now it's connecting. Then I'm gonna browse all material and I'm gonna be writing laser because I know there's one that is called laser copy paper. That's the one I want to choose. So we're ready to try it. The first one, it says load the black pen. The black pen is the Cricut pen. So I'm going to be loading it like this. You want to push it until the arrow disappear and it clicks like this. So it's firmly in place. And let's load the map. And we're ready. So now we're done, it asks us to load the silver. Silver is the Crayola, but before I load it, I'm going to use some washi tape. You can use some scotch tape, masking tape, or even um, a Sharpie if you want, but I have so many washi tape that I don't use, so I thought to myself that I would use it. And I'm going to write, I'm going to mark exactly where uh, the Cricut pen goes how deep inside it goes, so that's where it stops. So I'm gonna unload it, and I'm gonna compare this to my Crayola, and I'm gonna put another washi tape exactly at the same height. So let's put it on the blank sheet of paper, and put a washi tape at the same place. Let me just... So you see they're equal now. So you need really to like this. And now I'm gonna insert it in the Cricut and you'll see it, it won't click like the one of, uh, like the Cricut does. But if you insert it like this and go slowly, you, you're better to put it a bit inside than out, outside. So that's how I'm gonna put it. And it fits really perfectly, but it just doesn't click. So don't force anything. The other thing you can do if you want, um, I have measured and put uh, three nickels together and I've scotch taped them, so it was easier to insert them right under. And you're gonna see that it goes, it almost touches the pen. So you know that you're at the right height when you, do, you go like this. That's another trick, but I think I prefer the washi tape one. So let's hit the button. So let's unload this and check it out. I'm pretty impressed with uh, the Crayola brand. I mean, the ink is darker for the Cricut brand, that's for sure. Um, and you see that for this size, that might be a little bit too big of a, of a tip for that size letter, but for the, the Crayola brand, it's pretty perfect. So if you wanna make comparison like that, you can totally do it. 
And when you're ready to make a project, you can choose which one you want. But I must say that with all of these colors available, and I think it didn't even cost me $5 or something like that, I am very, very, very happy with those. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go check out my blog for all the details on single line fonts and single line SVG files.